You're royalty. The royal blood of heaven flows through your veins. God, your father, has taken from you poverty and given you the riches of Abraham. He's taken from you rags and adopted you as his own. You are sons and daughters of the Most High God. He has taken your sickness and your suffering and given you divine health. He has taken your heartache and given you joy that's unspeakable and full of glory. What Satan takes from you, he will make and give it back to you many times over. He has given you the power of his word. He has given you the power of his name. He has given you the power of his blood. Give him praise for what he has given you. The way you see yourself today will affect your performance tomorrow. Nothing will ever be attempted at all if every possible objection has to be overcome. Things which are impossible with men are possible with God. Listen, everything is impossible until someone does it. When you get your mind stretched with this one verse, nothing is impossible with God and whatsoever you ask in the authority of my name, I will do it. You put those two sentences together and God has given you a blank check to be what you want to be, to go where you want to go, to do what you want to do. No one can defeat you. Get up and get moving. Preacher, you can't possibly believe in the impossible. You can't believe that there's going to be the rapture of the church where people just suddenly disappear. That's impossible. In the natural, you might see that. But when you believe the Bible, it's already happened several times. A man by the name of Enoch went for a walk. And the Bible said he was not for God took him. Poof! He just went to heaven. He's been gone for 3,000 years and he's coming back. Elijah was taken into heaven on chariots of fire. He's still there. He's coming back in the book of Revelations to tell the people and the nations of the world that Messiah is on the way. The last person the Jewish people are told to look for in the last verses of the Old Testament, I'm going to send you the Elijah, Elijah the prophet and he's going to tell you about me. Soon and very soon, the trump of God is going to sound. The dead in Christ are going to rise. And we which are alive and remain shall be caught up to be with the Lord in the air. It's going to happen, believe it or not. Nothing is impossible with God. There's going to be a meeting in the air when the church of Jesus Christ sees the King of glory face to face. Give him praise in the house of God. Your thought life is the advance man of your true self. Its roots are hidden, but the fruit is visible. There is no victory in life without a fight. There is no sunrise without a night. There is no purchase without a cross. And there is no crown without a cost. Your life embraces faith and you wallow, if you wallow in doubt, you will never celebrate victory. Satan attacks every person that God is getting ready to promote. That's a Bible principle. Look at Joseph. One day he's in jail. Twelve years of reversal. He is now in an, Egypt, in an Egyptian jail. The next day he is in the palace of Pharaoh. He went from the jailhouse to the penthouse in 24 hours. When God gets ready to promote you, no one can keep you down. Keep your head up. Keep your eyes focused. Turn it on the cross. Focus on the word. Take this. Put it in your mouth. Speak it and believe it. And you will achieve the impossible dream. Give the Lord praise in this house. Stop saying if. Say I will by God's grace. Stop saying it's impossible. Nothing is impossible to those that believe. Nothing. Stop saying, I don't know the right people. You know, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Those people have lots of power. Have you been hurt? Get over it. Say it. Get over it. Have you been criticized? Get over it. Have you been rejected? Get over it. Have you been betrayed? Get over it. Have you failed? 
Get over it. Get over it. Get over it. Today is a new day. This day is a new day. Act like it. Talk like it.